Hi, I'm Dr. Lauren Pruver. I'm an admissions expert with BMO Academic Consulting. Thanks for joining me on this week's episode of BMO's Admissions Vlog. Today, I'll be talking about five common errors that students make while writing their personal statement for medical school. Let's get started. My first common error is not reflecting. As medical schools take a more holistic approach to medical school applications, they're looking for students capable of self-reflection. Your essay should tell the admissions committee who you are, what you're all about, and why medicine. If your essay doesn't outline these things, the admissions committee isn't going to sit around and guess. They'll assume that you're a poor communicator or a poor writer, both of which make you an unsuitable candidate for medical school. So sit down, do some reflection before you start writing your essay. It's a crucial component to writing a strong personal statement. The second mistake is casting themselves as the victim. For example, student one, I struggled a lot with my mental health during my undergraduate degree. As someone who is naturally quiet, I had trouble making friends and felt as if no one understood me. Eventually, my depression got so bad that I struggled academically and had difficulty leaving the house, resulting in a dip of my grades in second year. Or, student two. During the second year of my undergraduate degree, I struggled with depression. At one point, it got so bad that my grades began to slip and I had trouble leaving the house. Desperate to claw my way out, I started volunteering at the hospital. Here, meeting after class with sick patients, I found new meaning and made new connections. Though painful at the time, this experience taught me the importance of social connection and support to my own mental health. It has also inspired me to want to pay it forward and help others the way that those I worked with helped me. So both students describe a challenge that resulted in an academic lapse. However, it's all about the framing. Student one, though there's nothing wrong with suffering from depression or being a little quiet, frames themselves as the victim of their own story. Student two, on the other hand, describes how they overcame the challenge and what they learned from it, their passion for medicine. This makes them come across as resourceful and reflective and gives insight into why they decided to pursue medicine as a career. My third big no-no is talking negatively about other people. This could be blaming or anything that could be construed as looking down upon another individual or group of individuals. It comes across as judgmental, sometimes even arrogant, both of which are really bad for your essay. Instead of allocating blame, focus your precious character count on talking about yourself and what you learned from the situation. The fourth most common error I see is a lack of structure. Reading an essay without structure is like trying to drive to an unknown destination without a roadmap. The turns are sudden, you have no idea where they're going with anything. It's very confusing. A good essay has a strong thesis, a mapping statement that guides you along, and is wrapped up by a strong conclusion that summarizes all the key points and ends on a memorable note. My fifth and final error is not seeking feedback. You've all heard of being nose blind, right? Where you get so used to a bad smell, you can't even tell it's there anymore. The same can happen when you're writing an essay. You get so used to your stories and the way you tell them that you don't even notice the little mistakes. You need fresh eyes, someone to look over the essay and give you honest feedback and tell you that it all makes sense. Even students who come to us who are great technical writers, they still undergo several rounds of revisions before they have a product that they're ready to submit. So seek feedback on your essay. So those are my five things not to do while writing your personal statement. If you're looking for more tips, feel free to visit our blog. We have a ton of great posts about how to write a personal statement and a lot of free examples that you guys can take a look at. If you're looking for help with interview prep or Casper or essay editing, click the link below and schedule your free initial consultation with BMO today. Thanks for joining me on this week's edition of BMO's Admissions Vlog. I'll see you all next week.